Hi loves, welcome to my empties number 8 video. I cannot believe it's been my 8th empties video already, but I have a ton of products to so share I've with you guys. So I've accumulated a lot started. of products over the past, I would say, 2-3 to three months. I haven't done an empties for a really long time, so I'm excited to film this and finally recycle everything and throw everything out. But um, the first empties I have is my Majolica Majorca Lash Enamel Glamour Volume On Mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara from Majolica Majorca. If you guys know, you guys know. So I am a mascara fanatic and this is my number one favorite here. This mascara is pretty much hairspray for your lashes. It, it um, holds your curl all day long, it lengthens your lashes, it separates your lashes and gives you nice volume as well. And this is what the applicator looks like right there. It's kind of like a comb sort of brush. It has um, a curved comb on top and then smaller uh, combs on the bottom for your lower lashes and I just absolutely love everything about this the formula is amazing so definitely check out this mascara you guys if you especially Next if you up, have sparse have the lashes Heroin make mascara remover and this is basically I use it in conjunction with this mascara because this mascara does not come off it's like waterproof and even if you go swimming with it it does not smudge or smear at all so it's a really hard mascara to get off so I have to use this uh, mascara remover to remove it so basically it's pretty much just like a mascara wand this is what it looks like here it's an oil based makeup remover and you just brush it on your lashes and then just take it off with your regular makeup remover and I heard about these two from my sister so Kim if you're watching thank you so much for introducing these to me it's been life-changing so you guys check this out it's so cute even this packaging is so adorable as well it's like light next pink. two products Super I have beautiful. are lip products the first one is Nivea lip butter raspberry rose and this is what it looks like here and it comes in sort of this tin packaging like so and once you open it you just uh, get the product and apply it on your lips, but this you guys it smells like raspberry candy It smells like haichu that that Asian candy it just smells so good But I absolutely love this lip product for my lips to keep it nice and hydrated and moisturized And this actually has like a light pink milky color to it So when you apply it on your lips, especially if you have pigmented lips It's gonna give your lips that nice wash of milky pink um, color to it. It's kind of like a dupe for the Dior one, a drugstore dupe, so I absolutely love this and would recommend it to you guys. It kept my lips very hydrated and had that kind of, um, it's like a thicker consistency. It's not super thick and it's not super thin. It's kind of in the middle. It just kept my lips very nice and hydrated and it added that milky pink color to it, which I love. This, this one is the Lip Ice Strawberry SPF 15 Chapstick and I love this wear, I love to wear this during the day because it has the SPF 15 so it's protecting my lips from the sun and um, it also has this kind of like a minty sort of smell but it has like a strawberry taste to it as well so I really like the Lip Ice uh, Chapsticks. Uh, this is an Asian brand, so ch check this out. It does give you that slick feeling and it just hydrates and nourishes. You guys know I wear a contact well. lens and my favorite contact lens solution is the Opti Free Replenish from Alcon. And I just get these from Costco, a big pack. It comes in a pack of two and it gives you like a little contact lens case as well. I find this one to be the most it gives my eyes the most moisture and also it doesn't sting my eyes so I'll recommend this to you guys if you're looking for a contact lens solution and next up I have the Oral-B Glide Pro Health Deep Clean Floss this is my all-time favorite floss it comes in oh there's a, like a little piece I can show you guys this is what it looks like it's like a flat sort of floss it's not super waxy or anything so it gets in between my teeth really well and it doesn't get stuck on my teeth and I just really like it it has this is what it looks like inside you just cut the floss and then you're good to go so my favorite floss next up I have this guy you guys seen this over and over again these are my Daiso cotton puffs they come in a pack of two so you get 180 uh, cotton pads which look like that it's like little flat um, cotton pads for only two dollars so super inexpensive and I love these uh, cotton pads if you guys haven't tried it try it it's the best it doesn't soak up a lot of products so you're not wasting a ton of product and it's this super next soft product is a new well. product I actually tried out because of Holly Annery here on YouTube she recommended it and I just like I need to try it because I usually use the St. Ives um, exfoliating scrub but ever since I use this I am loyal to this now it's the Biore pore unclogging 
morning scrub and this you guys smells so good it just has a clean fresh addicting um, scent if you when I say addicting you can just keep smelling it all day long but it has little tiny um, blue beads in it it's not rough on your skin at all comparing to the St. Ives one this is definitely more um, it's less rough than the St. Ives one it's more gentle on the skin the beads and once you like use it your skin just like I rarely get breakouts when I use this so thank you Holly and Marie for recommending it to me and to everybody um, now it's my turn to recommend it to you guys definitely try this out you guys it's the Biore pore and clogging scrub it just deep cleans your pores and it leaves your skin super smooth as well so I'm gonna pick another one up of this it's now I've been using this toner just for quite a while it's the Nivea aqua effect purifying toner in combination to oily skin it just tones my skin really nicely it refines my skin it also um, prevents the shine on my skin as well and it just keeps it nice and hydrated as well it doesn't strip my skin at all so I really like it it's super gentle and it doesn't sting next up we skin have the all. skin aqua UV moisture milk SPF 50 plus PA++ you guys know you're gonna be well protected with the SPF 50 in this I really love these type of sunscreens because they are lightweight in texture and they apply on my skin really nicely and they don't feel greasy and heavy at all so super lightweight and all you do is you just shake it up and there's this little ball that kind of mixes the sunscreen up. You just pour it on your hand. It's like kind of like watery, liquidy in texture. And then you just mix it around and just apply it onto your face. I really like these types of sunscreen because, you know, they're just very, um, they feel really nice on my skin and I feel well protected with this. So if you guys haven't tried these types of sunscreen, definitely check this one out. This one with the moisture milk in it, it kept my face very hydrated and moisturized as well. So perfect for like the fall and winter. So I finished two bottles older. of these guys. These are the Hada Labo Gokui Jun, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, milk lotion. Um, but I finished two of these because I absolutely love these. This is my holy grail lotion face lotion they are lightweight in texture and when I apply it on my skin my skin feels nice and hydrated and moisturized and my skin just drinks it up and these have no scent to it so if you're sensitive to scents these have no scents at all to it and it's scent free fragrance free and they just keep my skin super moist and hydrated without looking shiny or oily so I absolutely love this as my face lotion next up I have the Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover this is an awesome eye makeup remover in the drugstore so super inexpensive as well so if you guys haven't tried this try it because it's a really good uh, makeup remover it removes pretty much everything and all your waterproof makeup as well it has two different layers all you do is shake it up and then put it on your cotton pad and use it super gentle on the skin it leaves it nice and hydrated and moisturized afterwards as well and it's not oily on my skin as well or on my eyes and I just really like it this I have tons of backups of this so definitely check this out next up I have a body item which I absolutely love Olay body washes Pretty much if you give me an, an, any type of Olay body wash, I will love it because it just leaves my skin so moisturized and hydrated that sometimes if I'm lazy, my like if I'm lazy to like moisturize my skin will feel like still very soft and everything. But I really like this one. It's the Olay Luscious Embrace Moisturizing Body Wash with ho Hoba Butter and Crushed Orchid Extract. And these are the ones that have like the rippled so it's purple and white inside and this one just smells so good it just like it just makes me want to wash my body over and over again it just has this sweet kind of florally type of scent where you just want to keep sn smelling yourself but I just really like this because it washes on my body really nice it doesn't leave like that yucky film on it it just it's like an in-shower kind of body okay, wash. Okay guys, we're almost done with the empties number eight video, I promise. The next empties is the Out the Door um, Super Fast Drying Top Coat. This is what it looks like. It's sort of an empty because, as you guys can see, this thing like gooped up on me when it got to that point, so I couldn't use it anymore, but I really, really enjoyed using it because it was pretty um, fast drying on my nails every time I painted it, and it just had like a nice, big I don't know if I can show you guys but 
it had a nice big sort of brush so I could just easily just do like two strokes on each nail and then I was good to go didn't have to fuss and yeah this thing gooped up on me so I was quite sad let me know if you guys have this and the same problem happened the to last two empties like are not beauty related but I really wanted to share it with you guys it's the Twix Bites and I am a huge Twix fan. I absolutely love the long bars and it's just so good. It's like milk chocolate with caramel and that little cookie in the middle. Ugh, it's so delicious. But I purchased these at Walmart and I couldn't stop munching on them. They have like perfectly bite-sized pieces and every time I ate one I just want to eat more and more and more but it's good for when you just feel like snacking especially now that it's colder outside and you're kind of staying home more and you just want to snack on some chocolate these are perfect and they actually taste like um, the real Twix as well because I've tried the what did I try the Kit Kat version of these little bites guy and it did not taste like Kit Kat at all so these actually taste like Twix but let me know if that happened to you guys if you tried the Kit Kat. Did it taste like Kit Kat to you or did I get like a faulty bag or something? But I really like these and enjoy those. And then the next one is the Dairy Milk Marvelous Mixes Oreo or with Oreo. And this is what it looks like. It comes with Oreo, a milk chocolate thing, little eggs and um, cookie bits as well. And this you guys is like the perfect combination like you can eat it singly or you can eat it all in one bite with the cookie Oreo milk chocolate and a oh, it's just so good especially if you like chocolatey like milk chocolate crunchy sort of things grab this it's delicious I could totally finish like one bag of these in one so that's pretty much it on my empties number eight video I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully it wasn't too long because there were a lot of products but um, let me know in the comment section down below what are your current favorite products right now or what products do you think I should check out myself and that's pretty much it from me I'll talk to you guys on my next video bye guys Mwah. love you bye